Recently, Podbean added an option within your themes or templates that you can customize. So if you go to the Layout tab and you're in your themes here, this is the current theme that I have on my site, and you'll now see if this is available for the template, which it's available for, I believe, all the professional themes and also a number of the free themes. So uh, if it is available, you'll see this custom button here and you'll click on that and you'll see the various things here that you can change. So I can change my header image. I'm not going to do that right now, but I can go in and change out the image and it gives me the specs there that I should use. Um, I can also do things like change the theme color. So for example, in my podcast, we'll to view site here so we can see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like now. And I'm going to pull the sidebar up here because we can see a lot of the colors and that kind of thing. So if I go there and change the color of the theme, I'm just going to pick a random color, sort of a red color. And then what we want to do is hit submit down here. And then we can go back and refresh the site and see where the changes are. This. The theme color is kind of an underlying color. Uh, you'll see this uh, topic right here change to that reddish pink color, and then also my plays, my episodes, the category, that kind of thing. So that's one of the colors that kind of runs throughout in different areas. And let's say I didn't like that. The other thing that I can do here, and I can do this even if I make multiple changes, is I can always reset it to just go back to the default settings. And again, if I go to my site and refresh, you'll see that those colors have changed back. So now you can see down here the green again, and also on my various uh, sidebars here as well. So that's the uh, theme color. We also have the option of changing quite a number of things here. The font color is the main font uh, that's used. So if it's not something that has a special coding, um, so that'll be my episode font, for example. So I'll change it to a kind of a bright yellow color here, so we should be able to see that. And hit again. Don't forget to hit submit. And then we'll go back and take a look at what that looks like. And go down, and you can see my episode here, and you can see the change to that yellow color. And we have a number of different things we can do here. So we can also change the color of the links. And again, I'll make that, in this case, I'll make it a deep blue here. And show you where that changes. You might have a number of links. If I go to my sidebar here, we can see as we go down the uh, hyperlink right here. Um, so under following, I have a more so that's the bright blue that I changed and if I hover over it that's what's known as the link hover color see how that changes so as you'll see when you go back to the options that's another thing that you can change so I, I only changed the link color but I can also change the hover color to something different I can change the title of my of my uh, channel so that's the thing that shows as the main title, and again, I'll change it. I have it in a white color. I'll change it to something a little brighter here, and make sure to always hit submit, or that take that won't take. And if we go back and refresh, now you'll be able to see where that's changed. So right here, my podcast site, my podcast title has changed to that red color. I can also change my uh, episode title color, very similar, the font size, and the main font, so the style of the font, for example. So we'll go here and actually let's take a look at what it looks like now so we can see the difference. So here's the current font, and we'll go in and change it to something kind of standard, we'll change it to Arial, and hit submit. And when you go back and take a look, you'll see the difference in the style here. Okay, so as you go down, you can see my style color, uh, font color has changed. Again, we've already changed the color before, but now we have the new font style. Um, we can also do the same thing for the 
uh, channel title. So we can change that channel title. We did the color already. We could also change the font. We have various choices here to do that. So it's pretty simple. You can go in, you can play around with it, try out different things, try to match it up to kind of the look of your brand, your image, and uh, lots of choices. You can see within the colors, you can plug in the number for the color. You can play around with just the range, trying to get something that looks, looks right for you. But just make sure to always hit submit to get it to take. And then if you don't like something and you want to go back to the defaults, just don't forget this handy reset button here. And if I do that right now and we go back to my site, everything will be back to the standard defaults. And you'll see it'll look just the way we started. If everything works well, yes. So see my episode title has gone back to the white. Uh, we can see when we pull up the sidebar, we have the green of the theme color as it was before. We have the typical um, color of the, of the um, font. It actually went into my episode there, so it shows a little more. But if we go down uh, just into the site, you'll see that it's kind of a dark gray color that was the um, typical font. And back to the old style of font as well. Uh, the episode title was another option we could change, and that would show up right here on the home page. So I just I have, it's back to the, the default, which is white. So it's pretty simple to make things the way you want it to, and gives you the chance to play around a lot beyond just the typical uh, defaults of the theme.